Hey everybody, I am finally back. So today we are actually going to be looking at another modified version of Windows 10 called Kernel OS. Now, Kernel OS is basically, think of it as Rec OS, which we looked at a way while back, but it's called Kernel OS now. I heard Rec OS is better than Kernel OS, but I've also heard Kernel OS is better. Which is the better of the two? Well, we're going to be taking a look in today's video. All right, so actually one difference between my computer from the Rec OS video and now is as you can see, unfortunately, I only have six cores, which before I had 10, so because I switched to I switched to an AMD Ryzen processor, I now have a Ryzen 5 7600, which is definitely really good if you're getting into gaming. But yeah, we're gonna set this, I guess, to eight gigs. We're gonna set this to we'll just say two cores for right now. And do you want to create a hard disk? Yes. Actually, you know, let's bump this up to like, yeah, let's bump this up to like 80 gigs just to be on the safe side. Cause I mean, this is supposed to be a lighter version of Windows 10, but again, you, you never know it's Windows. So it could just be bloating things up. So yeah, we're just gonna set this to scaled mode for right now. So yeah, it reads our virtual drive. So we're just gonna click next and well, it's just gonna copy all the files and I can imagine Oh yeah, see, we're already done copying the files. So yeah, this is definitely gonna go pretty quick. So we'll cut to when this finishes installing. During this, I will talk about, you know, just like what's been going on with all these hiatuses and stuff. I know I've said it over and over and over again, but I do sincerely apologize for it. It's just that again, lots of stuff has been going on in my life. It's just, it's just a complete mess. I'll just put it that way. Holy crap. I've just not, I've just not been really feeling too well. I mean, it's not hard making these videos because you know, oh, it's this and that it's just again like i said what's been going on you know like my job and i mean i i hate it but anywho we're we're a hundred percent through the install we're gonna install those features it's gonna probably install these updates probably gonna take like two seconds because knowing this is a modified windows 10 yeah this is a modified windows 10 install you probably won't even have updates yeah i can hear my cpu going it might be hard to tell on your end, but on my end, it's actually because I also have a new cooler on this and it's only got like this one fan. It's a big, it's a big ass cooler, but, and it's got like this one fan, but it is silent. Like it's really quiet and I've upgraded my computer like crazy recently too. That was part of the hiatus. So it looks like in just a moment, we're going to be checking this out oh my god i actually haven't done one of these in a while i just can't wait to see what this is like oh my god maybe someone should make like a windows 10 or windows 11 halloween themed iso <laughs> just because hey why not it's october actually yeah this is oh wait there we go it just cha as soon as i say something <laughs> Thanks for your patience. Why, you're welcome. Oh, there we go. Whoa, what is this? Wait, what is going on here? Actually, I mean, not much. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Process Explorer has been terminated. What is this? Yep, Windows 10, I figured. Oh, that's even funnier. Look at the creation date, Halloween of 2022. And I was just talking about how you can make a Halloween distro. Well, here you go. That's actually one thing I like about these custom ISOs is that it comes with stuff that you might need like DirectX or Visual C++. It just installs everything for you, you know? Some of these can include Firefox or like Thunderbird. You know, there could be like gaming distros that include Steam. Why did I, why did I say distro? I'm so in Linux right now. You get my point. They could, there could be Windows versions that include Steam. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I guess it has to restart to install like DirectX and all that and all that. Okay, so we're at the desktop and actually oh that's cool see this is again this is what i mean it, it can come with open shell 
which in this case, actually my favorite style was the Windows 7 style. So I'm gonna keep that. I think out of all start menus, Windows 7's is still like my absolute favorite. Just something about it. It's Windows XP mixed with Vista and it's just, it's just, mwah, it's so perfect. I love it. Wait, that's it, really? Oh my God, oh my God. So we got Microsoft Edge, which I can imagine if we, yeah, see, it doesn't even exist. So it's just gonna delete that shortcut. Start menu kill. Oh, I'm guessing what this does is it kills the Windows 10 start menu. And this is like an automatic batch script. Internet Explorer, oh my God. Wait, does the internet work? Hang on, I gotta, I think the internet works. Let's see, let's go to Google. Yep, it works. Nice. Look at that, I didn't even have any internet problems this time. Wow. It's almost like using the software in Linux. It's weird. It has like all sorts of problems. But me running it in Windows 11 here? No, it's perfectly fine. The internet just works flawlessly. Oh so, yeah, I can imagine if we go to say YouTube, for example. Yeah, it's just gonna tell us to update our browser. I'm shocked, actually, I'm shocked they didn't supply Firefox in this. They're gonna run- This could harm your computer, oh no. At least that's not as bullshit as when you used Edge and you tried to download Chrome and it gave you- It literally injected an ad saying, oh, you were all, you're already using the best browser, it's Edge. It's like, get out of here, Microsoft, get out of here with that crap. And usually I would use like, like Brave or Libre Wolf, but for the purpose of this demonstration, Firefox is fine. All right, so now if we go to YouTube, it should load without any problems. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I guess we can try Windows 7 Gold. But yeah, no, as you can see, the video, the video does, should run just fine. It's just cause again, we're running this on a virtual machine. It pretty much lags like crazy, so. I, so yeah, no, it it works. Of course you got your notepad. Oh God, paint, paint. Oh man, I remember playing with this program. No, I remember playing with this when I was like nine or 10 years old. It was always such a spectacle. Like it was cool. Like you could just draw like this. I don't know why. I just found it so fascinating when I was younger. Let's see what we have installed in here. And that's literally all that's installed in here. <laughs> that's literally all we got. Okay, yeah, you got all of your your regular Windows features here. Some are enabled while others are disabled. The big reason why people recommend this is to check out the system requirements. And I mean, it's hard to tell right now. It seems like the CPU usage is high. But you gotta remember, I have this set to two cores, so it's gonna look higher than it actually is, but even with two cores, yeah, we're still only at 2%, and I mean, it'll jump up and down once in a while. Besides that, yeah, I mean, I think this would run pretty well on a dual core system. At least a, a dual core system with a CPU core clock with this, like this. Yeah, look at all of these services too that are stopped. Look at this. Holy smokes. Oh, wait a minute. Post install? I just noticed this post install. Oh, I'm an idiot. How did I not see this? Are you kidding me? Oh man, I'm a moron. But anywho. Oh, this is your custom resu resolution utility. Okay, so you can set like different resolutions. That's actually pretty neat for if say you have a resolution that isn't supported in Windows, but you want to enable it on here. Well, here you go. Snappy dri Oh, snappy drive inst driver installer. Oh my God. Like on, like on my old XP machines, I would use this pretty much all the time. This basically searches for drivers online or if you had them all downloaded, which would use like multiple gigabytes of space, but it would search through the drivers through here and it'll find the, the appropriate drivers for your hardware. So you don't even have to go on the internet to find your drivers, you could just 
just use this and well, you're good. Geek.exe, what is this? Actually, this is interesting. I've never seen this before, Geek Uninstall. So this this almost reminds me of, um, what is it called? IOBit Uninstaller, where it allows you to uninstall certain programs, or rather all programs. Yeah, let me see if it gets rid of, say, Firefox, for example. And not only that, but let me see if it also gets rid of, the like, the registry. Yeah, so this does get rid of... Okay. So you don't even... Actually, that is... I might actually use this on my actual computer. This is actually kind of neat. Wait, remove watermark. Like, does this remove the, you've, the activate Windows watermark? Please tell me that's what this does. Ethernet, of course you got your ethernet drivers, which I don't need personally because, well, I'm in a virtual machine, but hey, it's here if, if you need them. Can't, these I obviously can't use because, well, <laughs> We don't have an, yeah, we don't have an NVIDIA card. Serve win. Oh, these are just like, this just shows all your Windows services. Okay. And you can, you can basically see like what services you have enabled and disabled. You can just go, you can just go into services and they're all right here anyway. I mean, personally, I kind of don't see the point. I mean, again, let me know in the comments, like, what this is actually used for, because, no, I'm actually pretty curious. Oh, this is, like, an expanded version of Task Manager. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, like, it it tells you pretty much everything you need to know. Like, let's go to this Task Manager here. You can tell, I mean, this, the one Windows come, the one that comes with Windows is detailed, but not as detailed as this. I mean, this is like, this is like a control center right here. Like, look at all this. And it's, it's even got certain programs in different colors. So you can tell like what is what. That's actually pretty cool. But anyway, guys, yeah, I think that's gonna about do it for this video. What are my thoughts? Well, honestly, this is actually pretty cool. Like, you know, it's a much lighter version of Windows 10. So you don't have much or if not any of the blow. I can imagine if I were running this on an actual computer, it's gotta be pretty much like perfect. There's like no lag or anything. Again, the reason why you saw the lag was cause well, virtual machines. So which do I think is better? Rec OS or kernel OS? Well, it seems like they have like their own strengths and weaknesses. So, so let me know, you know what? Let me know in the comments which of the two you guys prefer because I mean they look pretty similar to me but also kind of have their own differences like it seems like rec os had slightly more programs but kernel os was also a bit on the quicker side because there were less programs but I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it you know make sure you give the video a like subscribe to the channel share the video you know it would really help me out and until next time guys Peace.